Hi, this is Ben from Outdoor Hiking Therapy and today I am out at Lost World uh, which is uh, out behind Bow Desert in southeast Queensland. Uh, you go head out past Darlington right out to the end of the road and you end up at a place called Lost World and it really is exactly like that, a Lost World. Uh, it just, the road just dead ends and you can't drive any further and that's where I started walking. So I'm just following the creek. This is the left branch of the Albert River and it comes from the Lamington National Park right up in the, in the hills here. Uh, so I've walked probably about a kilometre so far but here I am, one of these crystal clear pools. Absolutely stunning. Yes, and uh, I've come across this awesome tree. It's covered in staghorns. I'll show you a look. So there's the creek, a stunning pool down there, so crystal clear. Doesn't look very deep, but that is in the middle there, I'd say probably about five foot deep. Even though it doesn't look it. It's a nice wide open riverbed. Absolutely beautiful. This is one of my favourite parts of the world. Yeah, here's this tree with all the stag horns on it. Or elk horns, or I think they're called, but I'll take you around now and show you a bit of it. Look at that. There'd have to be 20 or 30 of them on this tree. They're right up there as well. It is so cool. The scenery is just too scenic not to video it, photograph it. It's absolutely beautiful up here. Well, I was just walking along and I've come across this little fella. I almost stood on him actually. He's very lethargic. He's just sitting there trying to warm up. It's an overcast day. There's a little diamond python, carpet snake, whatever you'd like to call it. I think it's the same species, but this one here, judging by the look of that, it's probably about. 1200 long, maybe a metre and a half, about 1.2, 1.5, not a massive one, but big enough to um, hurt you, I guess. <laughs> if you much sold you, it's definitely going to hurt. Obviously not, not poisonous, but absolutely beautiful specimen of a carpet snake. I was just hiding in the rocks there as I was walking past. Oh, 
There he is. Alright, I'm going to leave him be and keep on going. Today, so this creek is really, really nice and cold. It's a good way to refresh. The beauty of it is, too, you don't have to carry too much water because I'm walking right up the creek, so I can just grab water whenever I need to, filter it, and drink away. So that's one plus of creek walking, but it's been pretty tough so far. But uh, I've done about four kilometres, I think, so far. Uh, yeah, not sure how much there is to go, probably about at least that again uh, to the head well, to the headwaters. So I'm just going to go as far as I think I can go and then try and find a campsite somewhere to pitch a tent for the night and go from there. Alright, I'm going to add something and then continue on. Well, the terrain has definitely changed to more rainforesty up in here. I've gone from sort of scrub to like a eucalypt, eucalypt scrub, so to more rainforest. And the boulders in the creek are getting a lot bigger. Not sure why, but <laughs> um, maybe because I'm getting closer to the top of the mountain where this starts, which is up at Radicat Hut. I'm not sure, but absolutely beautiful nonetheless. Look how clear that water is, crystal clear. Tastes good too. Alright, I'm going to head, keep heading up the creek. Let's see, if, uh, see how far I can get, I guess. Well, as you can see behind me there, it's not really rock hopping anymore. It's more rock scrambling up this creek. The boulders have gotten bigger. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a lot tougher than what it was at the start. Done about 10, just over 10 kilometers, but uh, I've got about two to go to get up to where I want to get to. Uh, well, hopefully I can get up there. Uh, I have no idea because there's no track and I really couldn't find much information on this. So, yeah, I'm just playing it by ear and seeing how I go. Lots of little waterfalls like this as I'm going up. The elevation's definitely going up as well. So, not only in the gun creek walking but you also get the you get to go uphill as well. Uh, it's a fairly steady grade but it definitely definitely wears you out. Well I've come up to a waterfall which I have to try and go around. As far as I can see Probably my best bet, and that's sketchy at best. Little rock face around here. I may have to backtrack and try and get up on top of that ledge there. Give me back anyway, I'm going to get up above this hole. 
he's got his old slippery wet rock. And that is a recipe for the dark <laughs> Especially when it's all over. So I'm going to figure out how I'm going to get up here and I'll uh, let you know what to do. Well, that's what I end up doing. So there's the waterfall that I was just at the base of. So I backtrack and up over the top on that ridge to where I am now. And as you can see, I'm still going up. Got some cramping issues happening in my legs. Must be from all the rock hopping. Because I'm not used to it. Well, got another bit, got another uh, waterfall I'm going to try and get up and around. There's been a few of these. It's uh, definitely bush bashing. I would not recommend this to anyone that is not confident in off trail, uh, off trail hiking. I mean, even though you're following the river, this is some pretty tough terrain. Yeah. I'm definitely, definitely going to feel it tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I'm still undecided whether I'm going to come back down this way. I'm leaning towards not, just because it's it's pretty dangerous in places, and especially going downhill. Tomorrow is supposed to be raining or showers, so the rocks are going to be wet and slippery the whole way down. And yeah, just a recipe for disaster, I think. So what I'll do, hopefully, is get my wife to pick me up from O'Reilly's. And I'll walk back from Rattatat Hut to O'Reilly's, which is about 15 kilometres, I think it is. Um, but at least there's a trail there. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get up and over this one. Go around up on the ridge and uh, do it as safely as I possibly can. All right, I'll see you at the next one. So this is the last waterfall, I think. I've got a climb up. I've got about 400 meters according to my GPS. So look at it. Oh, what a gully. That is fairly high. That's the level. That's probably... Well, that'll be, have to be a good 6, 7 meters high, that waterfall. At least, maybe more. So, this side here is not very good. So I'm thinking I will go up the bank this side and bushwhack it straight through up to the top. Hopefully. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping this is the last one because my legs don't have much left in me. Alright, wish me luck. Well, I made it. The last 200 metres. 300 meters roughly. Um, I had to leave the creek and head up the hill, like straight up, bush bashing, um, just going through the thick scrub, trying to uh, just go and buy my GPS and compass. Just use my GPS to get a bearing uh, on where Ratatat Hut is, and then I um, just use my Garmin watch with my compass function on it just to keep on that heading and eventually came to Rattatat Hut and uh, there's a campsite there so I definitely definitely will not be doing that one again <laughs> that was some very very sketchy climbing um, up past those, those last few waterfalls was crazy. One slip and gone. Um, so yeah, it was at that point where I knew, well, I only had a couple hundred meters to go. I couldn't turn around because it was getting really late. Um, so I knew there was a campsite up here because I had it flagged on my on my GPS. So yeah, I made it. And thank goodness for my Helinox chair and my DD tarp because it started raining. I just got the tent up and then it started raining. 
Uh, so I quickly ran the main line for my 3x3 DD tarp and then pegged it out and just put some guy lines and tied it to some trees and got all my gear under it so that way it was I didn't get any wet except for myself which needed a wash off anyway so we got nice and dry got changed now I'm about to have something to eat so I'm just gonna cook up a cook up a feed and have a coffee all right um, after that I will definitely be hitting the hay my legs are shattered <laughs> they are so sore so um, yeah I'm gonna walk out to O'Reilly's tomorrow uh, I'm not going back the way I came it's way too dangerous and then I'm gonna uh, my wife's gonna pick me up from O'Reilly's and drive me back around to Lost World to pick up my car so yeah, I'll talk to you in the morning Here I am at the Ratatat hut sign. I'm heading back towards O'Reilly's. Got about 15 kilometer trek. It's showering and drizzling rain. So probably won't be able to get too much uh, footage on the way back. But uh, yeah, I'll uh, update you if I can. But if this is the end of the video, then thanks for watching. And please remember to like and subscribe if you want uh, to see more of this content. And until next time, I'll see you, see you out in the woods.